This is Brickhead Boy Toy Reviews here. We'll be doing a review on a Brick Monkey Mox. This is the Scud. And the instructions were about $10. Bought the pieces for more or less $200 and contains 961 pieces. So it took me a while to gather the pieces. And let's go check it out. And here's a scud complete. So I do have a couple mini figs for comparison and to see how they go onto the vehicle. But before I go any further, let's take a look at the substitutes I had to do with this because I didn't have the pieces. First off, this white hinge piece. Um, I cannot find it in tan. Instructions are supposed to be in tan, but they don't exist. And also two, uh, this tile round is supposed to be clear on here but i could not find that piece does not exist either on both sides so i just made a substitute of a plate and these tiles another substitute is this dark tan piece that's supposed to be tan unfortunately that piece is very rare and expensive so a couple bucks for one of those is average price in total, four of those, I changed to dark tan as opposed to the regular tan. And pretty much most of the printed or stickered console pieces are different from what they're supposed to be. Not a big deal. On the bottom two, you can see that uh, light bluish gray. There's four of those I'm missing. So another one on this side, on the other side. So those light bluish gray colors are supposed to be black. And there's also a, uh, you'd see that light bluish gray inside. That's supposed to be black. Not a big deal. On the missile side, these are supposed to be black, each of these pieces. And they are light bluish gray. Also two. There are four of these pieces right here. That's supposed to be black along with the back and the other side. So four of these are supposed to be black. Not really a big deal either. And lastly, I made a substitution. This is supposed to be a Technic uh, Panomic tube. I just use a simple one. Uh, works just as well. And I plan to exchange it when I buy the part. But for now, just leave it as is. So let's continue on. One other piece that passed me was this here, this black controller piece, lever, is supposed to be tan. And finding it in a tan is really rare. It came with only one set, and it costs a lot, so I substituted it with black instead. Anyways. So here is the Scud in 360 view. Quite large, 12 studs wide. Not sure exactly how long it is, but it is pretty long, and I'll uh, do a comparison eventually. But... Quite a lot of detail. You have dual cabs, your missile, of course, and eight wheels total. On the front of the Scud, you have a couple headlights, and you also have a couple smaller lights in here. Your grill and your uh, protector. Quite a sturdy model. I can just pick it up here in the front and holds well. So on the side, you have couple compartments this one opens up and you can put quite a bit because it's kind of large same thing with the other side it's exactly the same just opens up and a little bit more compartments here you have this if i could open it nope now that's why i put the hinge the wrong way let's fix that so here small little compartment 
and a slightly bigger one, but still small area to store stuff. On that side. And I'm not sure if that's a fire extinguisher or smokestack, but there's also one in the back as well. Pretty sure that's a fire extinguisher. Do have a couple tail lights as well as these stabilizers on the back. Just two, nothing else anywhere on the vehicle. And there is a compartment here. Open that up and you can see there is a bed. Open this up and you could actually get more access. So there's a cup in there. So it's a bed, pillow, and if you look at the tile, it's a clock. So a little sleeping compartment, really cool. On the other side, door opens too, and you can open the top just as the same. Here is a control room. So you have a computer and just some consoles in there. Now in the front, let's take off the driver compartment and that can come off like that. You have room for a driver, steering wheel, and you have a console there. This one, you can remove as well. And this piece, I'm gonna have to reinforce it, comes off a lot. Uh, there it did already but you can pretty much take this whole thing apart and one thing i forgot to mention too is that these pieces here are supposed to be those printed bedroll pieces and i substituted it for these instead on this side here you also have a controller console for a second uh passenger or a first passenger and this opens up to reveal an engine. Quite a bit of stuff on this vehicle. Now, one of the coolest parts, but not the coolest. It's pretty cool though, is of course this comes up. And missile is vertical. And you could just fire it off. And that's what the vehicle's for. Before I close this up, let's see how a minifigure fits inside and the scale to this. So let's get him. And a really good scale. Now let's put these two actually inside. There they are. And of course, the doors do open. Now let's close this up and put the roof on. Here it is, all closed up. And they are inside. You can see the head does not touch the roof of the interior so there's still a bit of room there for a minifig which is good and just to test it out here's a minifig in the control room and let's close it up and he fits nice and snug and putting a minifig on the other side he does fit i did have a problem putting him in i don't disassemble just a little bit of this but he does fit with no problem so one thing I forgot to mention is I had to leave out a couple pieces because it's supposed to fit here on this stud. One of these and it just doesn't work so well because once you put it in, um, this brake starts slanting this way. There's uh, not enough room so I just left it out and it still works and unnoticeable as well. So with the details and most of the functions out of the way, what is the coolest function of this? And that is this knob in the back. What does that do? Yes, that is awesome. Two wheel steer in the front. I love this thing. So before I conclude my review, I just want to say that the missile part here is really weak. Um, and I think it's a little bit too small compared to the vehicle. If you see what I'm talking about. Really no way to reinforce it except maybe put some pieces, uh, a flat plate on here, a long one. So this won't come apart, which I'll try. So I have here a one by 10 and a one by 12 plate piece and works a little bit better. Let's see if it works on this still. Really doesn't affect the missile much, but it makes it stronger. Also too, where's that piece right here? I'm gonna reinforce this with a simple plate with a hole. 
Now it just won't come off as easily. So now let's compare this to another vehicle. This here is Armor Bricks hemp vehicle and it's taller, just as long, but only 10 studs wide. So I was wrong, it's almost as tall or almost as long. But if you look at the front, this thing's a little bit shorter, but way wider. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Now let's conclude this review. So I have to say, this is my first uh, instruction purchase from Brick Monkey and my first Scud vehicle. Very awesome, very solid build. Nice techniques on the uh, snot, studs not on top and just the functions and details. Everything on this vehicle is awesome. The thing I do not like is the missile, kind of small for the vehicle, but other than that, it looks awesome. And again, the uh, price for the instructions, $10, and I paid about, give or take, 200 for the pieces. It has 961 pieces. And of course, you know, the 10 pieces make it expensive. You can, color swap the vehicle to maybe um or do a camo and spend less on the pieces itself because 961 pieces for 200 dollars is quite a bit but i'm quite happy with the uh build process and just the vehicle itself it looks awesome this brickhead boy thanks for watching